Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and today I have a lot of new products to go with. Do I have new products? What did I even do today? I've tried a lot. I've made a lot of mistakes. I always take you along with me for the ride. I don't ever claim to be perfect or know exactly what I'm doing. I don't, but I do love playing and I love figuring it out. If you're new here, my name is Julie Meikle. I'm over 50. I always say that I'm 52, but I guess you guys don't need to know the specifics. I've been a professional makeup artist for over 25 years. I'm a licensed hairstylist. I don't work on people anymore, by the way, but I have worked on many, many, many people. So I'm coming from a place of knowledge, although sometimes it doesn't seem like it in my videos. So I hope you're interested in seeing how I got this look. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. We have a wonderful group of women here. We meet every week for live streams. We chat. It's like having pen pals all over the world. We're all, I don't know, everybody's just so loving and supportive and I love it. I just love the community that we have here. So I hope you join us. And that's really my goal is to bring a community of women together and have friendships. It's working, by the way. We have a lot of friendships here. I love it. I'm grateful. Let's get on with the video. I thought I would start off with a bit of skincare today. I don't normally start off with skincare because I usually do that in my bathroom after my shower before I film, but today I haven't. A lot of people ask me about my skincare and honestly, it switches all the time. First of all, let me get something on my lips. I've purchased that a couple times. One I gave to my daughter who's vegan. I do really like it. I have Summer Fridays product coming in the mail soon. I'm not sure when that's gonna be. I would like a lip balm in every purse, every pocket. My lips get so dry all the time. Oh, I forgot to tell you what I'm using here. So this is the Ever Reveal Biomimetic Peel Pads. I'm in a summer mood. Look at my top. <laughs> it's the simple things that make me happy. Clinique sent me this. It's the Bye Bye Redness Concentrated Derma Serum with 1% colloidal oatmeal with centella plus peptide. I wish PR would come with a pamphlet to really help me understand what exactly it does. Oh, here we go. This concentrated derma serum uses redness neutralizing green pigments to reduce the look of visible redness across multiple skin tones caused by dryness. With continued use, it helps strengthen skin's moisture barrier to help improve the appearance of redness. I'm curious, would this be the first product to go on? I feel like no. So that's what it looks like coming out of the bottle. And I do have redness going on here. Let's see if it does anything. Like it doesn't go on green on the face. Feels nice. So what's the science behind this? Anyone know? <laughs> My face immediately gets red when I touch it. Do I look less red? Okay, it's on sale right now. That's good. So the first ingredient is water and then glycerin and then niacinamide is the third ingredient. This is how haphazard I am. <laughs> Companies aren't gonna wanna work with me. Anyway, <laughs> I'll continue to use this, I promise. I'm pretty fair right now, so I'm hoping that this Jane Ardell Pure Pressed Base Mineral Foundation matches me, I hope. I'm gonna put more moisturizer on though, for sure. Especially when I use a powder, I have dry skin and oftentimes powder products can make me feel um, dry. I bought a Tatcha travel set to go to Mexico and I didn't end up going. I should save it just in case I get to go again, but I'm gonna use it because it's handy. This is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I love it. If you're not new here, you know that I love it. I'm feeling quite dry around my mouth, especially. Everywhere, actually. And I've said this before, I'm gonna say it again. Is it the best? I have no idea. My skin likes it. That's why I don't talk about skincare a lot here. I know what I like, but I don't really know the science behind it. And I, I'm so afraid to give you information about skincare. And you know, I'm fearful that I'm gonna give you the wrong information because it's not my expertise. I know what my skin likes. I know what works well on my skin. And I know enough to be able to help guide you a little bit, but I'm not the expert. I will tell you when I like something though. I hope this matches. I'm gonna use the Jane Ardell Smooth Affair Brightening Face Primer. Again, why is this brightening? Does it have an ingredient in it that makes it brightening? I'm so confused. A brightening, blurring, and hydrating primer that helps to maintain the skin's youthful appearance by minimizing the appearance of pores and fine lines. It also preps the skin so makeup goes on easier and helps to extend the wear. Hey, I highlighted my hair, by the way. I did that yesterday. If you wanna see how I highlight my hair, I do have a couple videos up here. They're in the vertical format though, but I'll leave the links in the description box for you. I always highlight my own hair. Did it all by myself. Okay, let's put it right here. 
It does smell really nice. Very citrusy. Now I feel like I might have too much product on my face. Is that possible? Please let this be the right color. I'm gonna use the Kabuki brush that was provided. I feel like it's on the pink side. Oh, that's pretty. And there goes my redness and texture. Look at that. Wow. Look. Texture. Gone. Hm. Like that. I see Lisa J use this product all the time. I think Lisa J has more of a normal combo skin. I'm pretty sure my skin is drier than hers. Okay, so I'm just gonna buff that out. I think they're sending me some lipsticks too, and I was hoping to do an all-in-one video, but I'm too excited <laughs> and I'm too impatient. Okay. That looks really good. I'm just tapping it in because I'm pretty hydrated right now. And then once I get it in, I can buff. Okay, there's my hyperpigmentation marks. That looks great. Look at this big honkin' zit right there. Let's see how this goes. I feel like I need a smaller brush. That's so good. Yay. I have girlfriends here where I live that uh, one is a medical esthetician. She, actually, she's a nurse, I'm sorry. She's a nurse practitioner and she does injectables and skin treatments, lasers, everything. And she's been using this for years. Her skin is beautiful. I swear the women that live around me don't age. I'm gonna bring it down on my neck a little bit. I am impressed. And it doesn't feel dry at all. No, I'm very hydrated. And I did that on purpose because Powders sometimes make me feel tight. What am I gonna do for concealer? I wonder if that works for concealer. I'm kind of curious now. I doubt it. But I'm very well hydrated under there. And I saw recently Bare Minerals has a powder concealer. Okay, this one is my dark eye right there. I can wipe this off if it doesn't work. Did I just come up with something new? Normally, I would put a concealer here and powder it. So if I can get away with just the powder, wouldn't that be great? If anyone sees this from this company, they may not be happy. I'm gonna keep going. Why not? Okay, well, I'm done. No, I'm kidding. All right, let me go on with my brows. I picked this up a long time ago and I forgot I had it. This is the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. It's in taupe. I'm really loving the Warm Golden Blonde from Benefit and the Kosas Soft Brown. Those really match my eyebrows very well. I like it better than taupe, but we'll see. So we've got a very fine tip, nice. That's good, hopefully I'll be able to get a very natural look. You know what I might do actually? I'm gonna get these puppies up first. This is the Urban Decay Slick Day Brow. I wanna just get the hair out of the way a little bit. They are at attention. I don't know if that's the look for me. Let me see if I can settle these down a little bit. My hairs don't wanna lie down. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> All right, now I can see right in there, I'm bald. Right in there, I'm bald. Which eye should I start with first? Let's go with this one. Look at that. It's like Spock. Get down. 
Oh my goodness. Hmm. It's not this, it's me and my brows. This thing is messing with me. There we go. Right there is also messing with me. I like the pen. Trying to navigate these bare, sparse brows is always a challenge. I feel like the uh, silence that I have to have to do my brows is boring. I love how other YouTubers get on here and say, well, this is how you do it. Me, I'm like, hmm, is this how you do it? <laughs> I think this is gonna work. Let's see. I do like a more natural looking brow, but the pen's staying when I brush it through, so that's good. Hmm, we'll see. I don't have anything new for eyeshadow. Let's go on to bronzer. In my last video, I showed you Makeup Forever bronzers. I am gonna try a different color this time because I'm curious. So the last time I used 15 Wild Sand, it was perfect. This time, I'm gonna use Brave Maple. Why not? I just wanna see what it looks like. I know 15 Wild Sand is better for my complexion, but I wanna check it out. Look, I moisturized so much, I'm kinda of shiny here now. My favorite bronzer brush is the BK Beauty 103. I love this brush for bronzer. It's a brush that you can't fail with. I feel that's too yellow. I'm gonna show you the difference between the two. I'm gonna use the Refer 22, which is actually quite similar, only this one's bigger, and go into the warm sand. I am too hydrated, it's actually sticking. <laughs> oh wow, I really hydrated myself. Okay, I'm just gonna take the powder brush. I think I was so nervous that the powder was gonna make me feel dry, but that wasn't necessary. Okay, that blended it nicely. And that tone looks so much better than this tone. This tone makes me look unwell. This makes me look fresh and glowy. Okay, let's cover that up a little bit. The wild sand makes me look like I just stepped in from outside, like I'm actually naturally glowing from the sun. Much better. Note to self, don't hydrate that much. If it's not blending, it's because of my skin prep. I wanted to do a follow-up. I put this on yesterday. I went out for a dinner date with my family. And again, I switched it out, but I switched it out for the Fenty concealer. It's so good. This just isn't sitting well with my skin. I do think people are gonna like it though. I really do. So I'm gonna use the Fenty concealer again, even though I put powder here. I just wanna touch that up a little bit. just in the corner. It's so good. What am I gonna do for eyes? I don't wanna keep using the same palette. I'll find another one, hold on. I'm gonna go back into this palette. It is the Born This Way, the Natural Nudes. I don't know why I kept it in the box. That never happens. I honestly could use the bronzer for eyeshadow, but that's kind of boring. Okay, I'm gonna use, this is, where did my soft ochre paint pot go? This is painterly, just cause I can't find soft ochre. No idea where it is. I am so glowy. I feel like I'm gonna have to do this video again with different skincare, but you know what? I'm learning with you guys. I hope that's okay. Cause my idea was that the powder foundation was gonna suck out all the moisture in my skin, but it's not at all. So that means I have too much moisture on my skin. I'm pretty shiny. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna try this. I wanted to give this another try. This is the Physician's Formula setting powder. What is it? It's the Butter Believe It pressed powder. I used it once in a video and then I put it away. That doesn't really teach me anything, does it? I love the smell of this stuff. <laughs> it's so good. So this is matte, like it once was. Let's see if my moisture pops through. 
because it definitely popped through the Jane Ardell foundation, which I think is a great thing. That's why it's good for mature skin, I'm sure of it. Doesn't matter if you have dry skin or not. I think it looks really good. I like that powder. I have a question for you. If you use Maybelline Fit Me powder, everybody talks about how good the loose powder is. What color do I get? I have no idea. I'm not used to using a colored powder so much and I don't wanna buy it and get it home and not like it, so help. All right, I'm going to go into nude this time with the fluffy brush. This is an Angie Hot and Flashy A503. So that fluffy brush is just gonna get it all over. A light dusting. How did I do that? What is that? Oh, there's never a dull moment. Honest to God. Let's fix my mistake. That was easy. Start again. Hey, so I've been watching Emily in Paris. I'm addicted. I don't normally let myself watch shows because I'm so busy working and I've been so busy trying to build my channel and that's all I think about is work and family, work and family, work and family. And this week, actually the past few weeks have been, you know, I'm just kind of frustrated with my health a little bit and I decided to just give myself some time off and now I'm right into this show. It's so cute. I like this color a lot and I'm hating my brows. The brows are absolutely no. Let's fix the brow. Should I use the eyeshadow? I'm gonna do it. Let's see. So I'm gonna take this same eyeshadow and I'm gonna fill in my brow. I might be sorry, who knows? Okay, point the brush in the right direction. There we go. I just, is that too red? Maybe. Well, we're here now. I think I'm going back to the big block brows that used to be in style that I never would do. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, it's not horrible. I'm gonna leave it. Maybe it'll look good by the time I get my makeup on. Oh. Hi, baby. Can I wear a speaker? Wait, you gotta come in focus. This is my son, Justin. Look how green your eyes are. You see in the monitor? Wait, wait, stop moving. You're so handsome. It's not horrible. I mean, I am a ginger. I feel like even the shape of this is weird today. Like I have it more rounded than I normally do. That's because I was trying to get rid of that Spock piece, I guess. I hate it. How can I fix this? I don't know how people do their makeup so easy and not have to fix things. You just got the system down pat and then you got somebody like me who's trying new things all the time and failing. Oh, this concealer is so good. So good. I'm gonna take a break and continue with my eyeshadow and try not to look at the brows that I don't like. My skin's looking good. I'm happy about that. Thank goodness. <laughs> I wanna go into maple. I'm gonna use an A501 and I wanna go in the corner as I always do. I don't really have hooded eyes, but it is dropping. If I just put the product in here where my actual natural crease is, which looks great when I have it stretched up, and I drop my eye naturally, I lose the color. And it looks like I only have color here and that I didn't put any color here. So what that means is that I'm going to cheat my crease. My dogs are barking at my children and their guests. If that becomes too dark for you, don't worry about it. Take an empty brush, any empty brush will do, and just run it over and blend it out. It will soften it. And now you can see that gentle slope, but otherwise it just looked like a pop of color coming out of like right here. And it looked like it didn't belong to the look, and now it does. I like that color. These eyeshadows are really smooth, by the way. They're very easy to blend. They're not, you know, patchy or anything. They're really, really pretty. I'm gonna use this color, which is Swan. And I'm gonna make that bright right there. And hopefully this will make my eye look bigger. That same blending brush, I'm just gonna go 
over the edge and blend. Oh, my shine is coming through again. I am pretty sweaty today. Whatever's going on with me, it's making me sweat. And it's not hot flashes. I'm not sure exactly what's going on. If I make it through this without getting a shimmer on there, I will be shocked. But there's so many pretty ones to choose from. And there's that one. Oh, and there's that one. Oh, that's pretty. I'm gonna take this deeper color, which is Truffle, with an N11 from Nikki LaRose. And I'm just going to create a little bit of a shadow right there. I'm gonna take an empty brush and now blend. I think that's all I'm gonna do. Maybe get it looking to go up a little bit. That's it. Shadows are just so easy. And now I'm gonna go to seashell and it's a very light color and I just wanna create a shadow if my plan works. Like that nobody else would really notice but it just ties it all together. There, it just kind of keeps it all together in the family. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of gloss on because it's kind of a fresh look. This is by Laura Mercier and it is Macron, I think it's called. Kind of goes with my shirt actually. It's got like a pearl essence to it. That looks good, I think. I'm gonna put a little bit of blush on and just say goodnight with these brows, I think. I'm not happy with these brows. They look so fake. I really like a natural look better. If I comb it all out, will it look better? Well, maybe. Oh, I think that looks better, okay. Remove, that's the answer. Okay, that's getting better. I'm losing some of my shape in here. Now once again bald there, but do I just give up? How many brow pencils can one person use? This is LA Girl. I'm just gonna leave it. I think that looks better though. Whew. I'm on the coral and orangey, maybe a little peach. I think I'm light enough for this one now. I ordered this a while ago. It's Barely Blushing by Makeup by Mario. That's hard to say, by Makeup by Mario. I don't know why I got it because I really don't let myself get very light, I usually self tan. Since I'm fair right now, I'm gonna try it. Cause this is a lighter color, I can use a denser brush. I'm not afraid to get it sploochy. That's okay, yeah, that's pretty. Too high, just tap that out. I like it. So if you have fair skin, I think this would be a really pretty color for you. It's safe. You're not gonna have to work to blend it out. Like you saw how easy that was for me to touch it up up here. What do we think? It's funny because I worked so hard to get the, you know, the dewiness down because I hydrated myself so well. And then I just put it all back. I did order a new Patrick Ta blush. I've never tried one of his blushes before. I see everybody using them. So I had to order it. It will be coming in soon. I am happy. Finally, I'm really surprised with the Jane Ardell Mineral Foundation. It definitely doesn't look dry. I'm gonna have to continue to use it and figure out how to prep my skin with it. I couldn't believe how good it looked under the eye. Whether I would do that on a regular basis or not, probably not. Really like my liquid and cream concealers. I hope you got something out of this. <laughs> I did, I always do. I always learn something 
and I have a lot of fun. All the products I use are gonna be listed in the description box for you. I do put American and Canadian links for you, and I link them to Sephora, Ulta, and sometimes the brands. Oftentimes the brands give better deals. Like they have a lot of sales going on throughout the year. You don't have to wait for a Sephora sale to get something on sale. I'm saying sale a lot. So check those out. And if you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share with all your friends, and I will see you later. Bye.